So Jay, you put pen to paper on a new, de new deal with the Cuffer next year, you must be delighted to get that sorted. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. Uh, we've been waiting, wait, waiting a few months to get this sorted now and to finally get it over the line and know that I'm at another year with a club that I love and I grew up with, then I couldn't, I couldn't be happier this year. Both you and Ted have got a long-standing connection with this club. What does it mean for you to extend your stay with this with this club? It means everything to us. I mean, like I said, we've been at this club now five, six years and they gave us an opportunity when we were younger that no other club would. And it sort of feels like we're still like trying to repay that debt to them because they let me be the player I am today and let me live my dream, really. So, like I said, I've been a fan at this club ever since I was little. So, still being able to play for your hometown club is something that I really want to do and just want to carry on and keep improving for the club and do it for the fans. It's a new challenge for the club next year, obviously moving, from, transitioning from full time to part time. Is that a challenge that excites you in particular for next year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it's not it's not the ideal situation because obviously growing up and that, when you've been in, in the system and you've been in first team, you want to be in a full time environment. But they're just a credit to Phil and Witness to, to be able to show me what they can really do part time. And for me, not to see that as a negative, but to see it as a positive as well. Like I still think we're going to get the best benefits out of the players. Whether we're full time or part time, I think we've got that sort of environment around us, which allows us to do that. So, no, um, it's, it's looking forward to actually starting something else alongside rugby and then seeing where that goes as well. Thirty appearances for yourself, scoring three tries in twenty nineteen. What were you happy with last year, and what are you looking to take into twenty twenty? Yeah, I was really happy with last year. It was a bit of a frustrating, frustrating start to the year because obviously I did did uh, my ligaments in my ankle and had a bit of a knee injury pre season, so it wasn't the ideal start to pre season. But felt like I built in the season well and. Near that back in the season, that's when I thought I was performing in here would be best. And every year, just keep improving. Like like Ted said, all me and him need to do is get game time and then sort of build from there. So the more games I play, the better I'm going to get. And hopefully this year is a year that I want to grab with two hands and show people what I can do. Personally, and as a club, we had a year, another year's experience in the Championship. Will that benefit us moving to where we want to be and challenging towards the upper end of the table? Yeah, definitely. I mean, me and Ted, have been, we've been in Championship for White Haven, so we've had that dual resistance, so we knew what it was going to be like. And I think we've actually built in our really good Championship team this year, so it's going to be a lot of players in there that know this league and are experienced, and that's sometimes what you need. Sometimes Between Super League and Championship, the physicality is still there and things like that, so you, you do need to have a smart mind when you're in this league. And, Last year, I think it really showed most of the lads that it's not something to take for granted. Like it's not a league where you just go to games and just win win matches. Like there are really tough, really good teams in this league. So it's a very competitive league, and it's a one you want to be in. So we're looking forward to it. And lastly, you've always had a great relationship with the supporters. You're looking forward to going out and playing in front of them again next year. Oh, definitely. The, the amount of support me and Ted have had across the town, even walking past people and they're asking if we're signing and things like that. Like it just warms our hearts to know that the fans are still still behind us as not only a team but as individuals as well. And we just want to repay the favour and go on the pitch and show, show them and do well from this year.